Hi and welcome back to another Rust Guide. Now if you didn't know, the horse hitch box is going to be in this wipe. This guide is going to show you how to use it when you first get it, how much it's going to cost and how you can actually put it into a small base as well. So your Rust base can incorporate this in any design really if it's done properly. Just before we start, we're running our competition which will end on 11th of July for the Winter Bow. There is free available, all you have to do is comment below. Also, if you like these type of guides, make sure you leave a like so I know as a gauge if they're worth continuing or just to knock them on the head. Now, this is a very simple way of showing you how your hitch box can be made into an addition to your base. Some very key notes you have to keep in mind, you have to use a garage door because if you use a double door it won't allow you to get in whilst you're on the horse. You have to make sure you've got enough clearance for you to actually walk in with the horse as well. I've kept the roof off because personally I think these have to be very very cheap. You don't want to make them HQM or metal, there's simply no point. Now the hitch box itself, to use the hitch box you have to have your foundation very low to the ground and I'll show you it working and not working. On the low foundation you can place it down very easily as long as the foundation as I said is very low to the ground. The hitch box works basically as it anchors to the floor. Once it's on the floor you've placed it, put your foot in the trough, ride your horse up to it, get off the horse and it will just keep eating from the actual hitch box. Now as you can see in a higher foundation it doesn't really work. So if you're planning your base to have one of these little ranch things you have to make sure that you can actually place these at low enough level. Now, you can place multiple ones of these. They are a little buggy at the minute. It may change before force swipe because this is staging at the minute. However, if you're going to line them up, try and make sure you can place them down and pick them back up with ease. Now, as you can see, it's going blue because I've got quite a big gap, but that wouldn't really work because a horse would be back onto each other and it would just be annoying. Placing them down can be annoying if you're doing them in a row, but it's one of those things where you just have to mess around with it. You can see now they sit side by side, but a second ago they wouldn't. So bear that in mind. At the minute, I can't destroy these because we get the red text death every time you destroy them. It usually happens when you are in staging because they're waiting for the mesh. Now, once you go in, the horse turns on a sixpence, a bit like a, a taxi if you like, a London cab. You just have to turn on the spot and get in and out. Now, as you can see, I have put 20 food in here before I started the video and it started eating its way through. It's only at one. I'm not sure on the count of how many it needs per hour, but I'm probably going to say maybe three or four per hour. But on the update video from Shadow Frax, you'll probably have the exact numbers, but they aren't given to us at the minute or keep an eye on Rust updates for the tweets about the horses themselves, there's been quite a lot. Now with the garage doors, very easy, you can just close them your way out and it will close the garage door, very simple. These are very easy to add to bases as well, but as I said, you have to make sure the ground is low enough. Now I'll try and get this into some sort of bases because a lot of people are going to use these. The cost of these isn't actually that much, to be quite honest, they're only 750 wood, they don't seem to have a health bar on them when you pick them up, so for the time being, you can just pick them up and drop them willingly until you get it right. That may change when it comes off staging though, so bear that in mind as well. Now, one thing you have to look out for, these can actually aid people getting into bases as well. Single man is quite hard, depending on how you put it, but it will make it easier for two men boosting, especially if you have a high foundation after your first foundation. So bear that in mind as well when putting this against any sort of base at all. So guys, it's a quick guide. As I said, if you like these quick guides when new things come in and how to use it, I'm thinking of doing them more, but leave a like and let me know as a gauge if they're worth continuing. If not, then we'll just do them as and when I feel they're necessary. So guys, first stop and buy and I'll catch you in the next one.